next episode of the Survival Chaos Olympics. And we're going to be fighting against some um, real titans here with Snoop, Pixis, and Ralph Village. So we got the Orcs, Upgrade. Quartermasters, oh, Ravages. Uh, well, they're good against mechanical units. Sadly, the enemies do not have any mechanical units. But well, Fulux, Tower and the Trolls do at level 4. Ah, uh, but that's unlucky. So we're essentially playing this battle without a bonus. Which can happen if you go for random. But in order to win this, we gotta play smart. With the Orcs, you kinda are forced to snowball early on, which is gonna be very difficult with Felox in the game. At least the model looks cool. Bit odd that we killed his range unit. So I'm just playing with base defend, which is this guy, Tauren. Yeah, I hope I can play well. I had a minor injury with my shoulder. I cannot really stretch it or lift it up high anymore. So hopefully it can rest on the keyboard. But defending might be a little bit uh, difficult. Soup is playing with the fallouts of the middle lane. You know what? <clears throat> I'd rather not deal with a massive wave of death from the trolls. No real great neutral buildings, although defensively this is a great lane. Okay, it's kept a neutral building. Is there a gold miner somewhere over here? Hey, oh my god! <clears throat> gold mine and a metal mine. Yeah, the Felox are bound to be snowballing <laughs> really hard with the Felox mid lane with a gold mine mid mine here. And good defensive lane there. Oh my god. <clears throat> this is a little bit of a dream game for the Felox. So maybe we should try to contest them at the middle lane. That way, as soon as if he does have armor or magic upgrades, we might be fine against him. We will get it soon. So, yeah, if you guys were in my shoes right now, what would your game plan be? I would love to hear that in chat or in the comment section. But if you write in comment section, please do it. At the moment. <clears throat> when it's still only three minutes in the game. Not in the, uh, at the end of it. <laughs> because then we all know what kind of mistakes we're going to be making. Alright, let's upgrade our damage at least. So we're gonna have to play a creative game here. I don't dare send out some mirror for all against a potential Jubite with fell out. <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna be hard to survive with a <sighs> slightly less powerful race than the enemies. Let's see what we can do. These were good against mechanicals. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What a nightmare. I would love to say I'm losing control here. As long as he does not go for the uh, magic upgrades, that might be happening. Substitute to mid lane. I'm on to attack already. Oh, we're kind of protecting the trolls in the middle lane. But I guess for me, the turn the trolls, we all just have to stay in the game. Until we kind of reach the late game. But that we're not gonna get totally eaten alive by the fellows. If we can kill those trolls before he gets healing spell, then that would be wonderful.
We run against it too soon. We will most likely keep upgrading. Yeah, this ain't look good. <clears throat> Let's get my barricades up. And then... I actually might go tier 3 or tier 4 here soon against Raw Village. In order to, get, to allow us both, hopefully, to get more gold on this lane. To keep up with Snoop Dogg. But if he sends yours in or Rokana, that's gonna be very annoying. Hit a Paladin. Let's hope the old phrase will win. But I'm not counting on it. Whatever, thank you for following. You're a true champion. <coughs> well, good there. Yeah, this is a big stinky wave. Definitely playing creative game here, but it's all we can do really, I think. We got healing up uh, on the mercy wave for death on the top of it. I don't think we will get enough gold here. So maybe should have not gone for the barricades. This wave will be fighting over here. This wave will at least be coming out at a decent time. Oh my god, look at the tower run. Yeah, at least the tower force will die early. This is still good here. He also went for one fortification, by the way. I'm gonna get a little bit more gold. Just 25 and 50 normally. But we're not gonna get 197 more gold at the right moment. Still have one key though. Yeah, massive wave of stinkiness. Christ. Get away, man. These ravages have some extra health and armor. Oh no, not health, just damage. Okay, let's take the hit there, that's fine. We can do it, we can do it. Oh my god, some stiff free mid lane. That guy really wants snowball hard, doesn't he? Let's get the Tito Barracks here soon. <clears throat> Even if Summer will be level 10 or so and he's gonna send your bites out, it's not gonna be worth it. Because you bite us with all those mana drainers from those car lounge. Jabites would still win it, and if he win it, he would just simply send the Infernals. <clears throat> so I think we're gonna be playing the slow and steady game here. Which is not what you want to do with the Orcs. With the Orcs, you just have to snowball. You get a massive lead. To deal with the fact that you're gonna be weak in late game. Compared to enemies. Kugal might be our uh, best bet in the game though. But the trolls are gonna be focusing the tier 3. Oh my god. <coughs> Turn us tier 3 mid lane. Interesting. What a bloody mess. I'm not expecting town to go so aggressive for the middle lane. I guess we're gonna be losing this. Should we also go tier 3 here? Oh, please do not send me hero. Go tier 3. <clears throat> it's gonna be hard for us to defend it. I'm well aware of that, but especially with the double healers. But we need the gold, both of us. Uh, Chief is all. 
You would expect it to spell that. It might be saving up for that hero. Exactly as we feared. He's still using a Titu spell. But I believe they will still attack me quickly. I don't see any point of sending out a hero here ourselves. Let's go there, middle lane. Interesting move. Guess we're gonna let it happen. I think we either go Tipo here or go Tipo in the fortress. We will need to use the defense spell here, that's for sure. This will attack yours in, so that means he's got, we're not getting any units yet. Which is sucky for us money wise, but it will at least allow yours to attack us a little bit quicker. This is gonna be costly. By the way. <clears throat> Let's upgrade. Let's get the hour up. Do we want to slow poison here? Let's lose the enemy attack rate. And this arrow would be great as well. But then totally up for mid lane. Hopefully we can back up those best warlocks. Oh, that wave did not spawn a good time for us. There's our uh, poison. Then we're gonna go for the normal unit upgrades. He's 6 2, so we do not want to fall further behind there. Not happy with that, Pixis. He didn't do it uh, to mess me up, but <clears throat> it's coming in and knowing time for us. We still use a defense spell right now, but I guess we're good. With Love Mill, I think we managed this decently well. A lot of Rakan against Gwinnett, that's interesting. <clears throat> Could send a Thrall. Make things more interesting, but why should we? Slightly doomed. <laughs> Wolf Riders and Mid Riders could be great for the Fair Instincts. Let's get the means down. <coughs> Infernals, uh, they might take me here. So maybe tier 3 here. If the town is at least fine with Tito Barracks on side lanes, which would be preference, I would say, with these strong Tito units. Although he might be having level 2 magic and wants to go for the Impale. We might be at least getting good gold on side lanes. But we need to find ways to keep up with our enemies. Otherwise, this game is gonna be real, real painful for us. 
I think we already had a miracle win with the Orcs in the Olympics. <clears throat> to be honest, I would say the town race might actually be stronger than the um, Orcs. They have at least more AoE uh, abilities than the Orcs. Orcs are not weak, they got good heroes, they got a... Some decent upgrades, but... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not overly convinced with their strength. That was Rokan. Bad news is that Rokan might be coming frosted at the top. Pretty certain he is. Yes, we're gonna be okay here. So yeah, that totally sucks for us. Wait, 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 wait. He's playing with mana bonuses, isn't he? Oh my god. Trolls with mana bonus. That's disgusting. Need to keep pressure on them. But how? Let's get another poison up. And definitely should be able to attack us. Oi, 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 oi. At least he got base defense, so... His looks might not be too effective because he's uh, immune to it. So as long as he's still standing, he might not be going for the Batman army. He might throw out Gromash stuff to come in my tier 3 barracks. But yeah, since we're already lacking income and if the enemies would go for the gold stage tactic, it would definitely suck for us. <clears throat> I'm kind of fearing the same, but he might go tier 3 top. We'll see. So we'll set for all here. Good work. But he's not gonna be sending Xerxes for certain as long as Gul'dan is standing over there. But we do not want level 1 tank against Xerxes. So maybe we should go for the Purge, get tier 3. Be capable of getting Chain Lighting and send out Kul'gal if necessary. He went tier 3. But yeah, the folks are also playing on the timer because if he goes for the Batman army, he's always gonna be prone with 10% less hit points on the buildings. Oh my god, this wave's gonna be fighting over here, that's a good. That's uh, Fulgian mid lane. I don't want Prowl too early, otherwise he's gonna die to Rakan. He cannot set Fulgin top. He cannot set Rokan here, so he, I need Eurus in here. Or maybe Fulgin if he died. That's, yeah, I doubt he did, uh, he did die to be honest. Should go to free mid lane. We're the only one with two two, uh, two, two barracks. Therefore, could also work here. Go tier 3. Upgrade finished. Still go for the slow and steady. The only goodness we have is that we're not gonna be the main priority for any of the enemies. This guy's the main priority, then probably the fell orcs. And then probably Tower and us.
We'll send the hero here, just level them up. Oh, the middle lane is kind of scary. <clears throat> Frost out of the range, so yeah, this sucks a little bit for him. But he cannot get the hero here, he needs it from there. He's redirecting. He will yourself pop up soon, I believe. He's kind of low mana. Maybe one arrowfall is gonna be sufficient here. My arm is not that weak yet. So he's gonna throw without a hero. And he went to free. Okay. Whip stop. Yes, fell fight though, so we should be careful with those cross moments. Preferably not hitting base. This wave might be spawning over here. Oh no no, it's gonna be coming out of good time. Good good good. Uh, I hate the shields, man. Everyone hates the shields. Let's purge the enemies. You know what? I didn't want to do it. But with Xerx going middle lane, most likely we're both in a fold, you know, over here. Loving up the tank, even if it's just to level 8. Should be worth it. Level 1 Kogal against a level 20 Xerox ain't gonna be pleasant either. Yeah, the foot goals from the Void Elves were really cool. <laughs> oh, what a guys. So, yeah, maybe in the end we should have sent Rex soon here. But I'm just reacting to Xerox. Oh, uh, crazy pixels. Let's get some evasion up. Research complete. So we'll send uh, Samur here for certain. He's probably gonna gain more levels than Rexar. But I think it's gonna be majorly important at this stage of the game to level up my heroes. Maybe the level 6 fortifications just for stable income. Because we need to stay alive uh, with the power of our heroes in this game. And we need gold for it. Let's go on Battle Frenzy up. Maybe one level of pillage. Because we might be getting tier 4 barracks soon as well. Although, I think we won chain lining before tier 4 barracks. Yeah, I was afraid of that, but we at least leveled up Prowl a little bit already. I don't mind Smurr being slow here, but he needs to survive. Oh, those swords are not gonna be nice. Xerox moving around. Let's not upgrade yet, because we might actually need to throw down a defense spell to save Samuro. Let's get left free poison. Gonna be great against enemy heroes. Nah, I think he's good. What do we that Fudo man? Yeah, let's just throw one down. Red be saved, sorry. That's gonna be pushing through. I don't know what to do, man. I don't know what to do. 
In a hideous position. Look at that, that was score. <laughs> Beautiful. Maybe we should go for tier 4 barracks and enjoy the flaming attacks. To hopefully try and have a game of attrition. Or we'll slowly burn down their bases just like the fell fire from the Pollocks can do it. Really helpful time to get away from here. Dude, I'm still out of tower range, so that's a bit annoying. Oh yeah, with a gold mine, metal mine over there. Yeah. It, it's a sad game for us. Oh, he's gonna get deeper because of that spell. He's still out of range, isn't he? Diffo could save him though. And maybe we have this anyway. Check's left 50 man. Oi, oi, oi. That's going to be an absolute pain. Pro definitely not looking good. Therefore, might not be enough though. <coughs> I'd rather risk it than to lose the hero here against Godan. At least that top I did not hit Prowl. That will save him. <laughs> Ready, I wanted to stay alive. Fulgin coming in, that's a good place to level up Rexar. Oi 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 oi. Let's go on flame attack. And we have to save up. 9-4. Jeez. Still having the time of his life. We got oh, fully empowered witch doctors. We need to upgrade our armor ASAP to level 9. My army is badly outqualified by the trolls, and he can even steal my units. Bulger will hex Rexar, so that's gonna be annoying. Even though we struggle, I think we made the right call to go tier 3 on the barracks. Vernals and Jabitus. Okay, that's gonna be sucked for Sumero. This way twice we might struggle. <clears throat> so yeah. We got an utterly useless bonus here. 
did not help us out as much as the Phalanx helped him. We lack the end game power. Oh, we are behind. <laughs> How can we turn this around? Yeah, I think we have to play defense game here. Just hope for the best. Only epic defenses might be able to now stay in the game. <clears throat> now still hurt the enemies over time with the flaming attack. I see no other possible outcome of winning this match. Again, Jibites is gonna be deadly battle, but we got a true blade master. Some reinforcement lanes, nice. But not be put to fire everywhere. Tiffany magic, obviously. And we need our own chain lighting. Let's go for one armor, then we'll go for the level 3 fortress. Let's consider the endurance aura, maybe a ensnare. No, let's just wait. Let's go to Bonk Xerox. Could be worse. Obviously, the Trolls playing defensive game with the mana bonus. He's gonna repel so hard late game. The double nuke might actually be in the card save for us. Okay. So Fra will defend the left side, Rex our right side. Look at this man. I guess even the town's trying a little bit on that lane. I want to see. Yeah, not as much as I expected. Seems like he picks us more in control here than the Felox are. He's there for. Smyrna will at least deal some good damage to Grumash, but he will survive it. It's gonna be a big counter stack though, man. No sense. Smyrna to the left side. Yeah, maybe let's us go for the assassin. Only well, one chain lighting up ASAP. I don't want to go goal in the game yet. Uh, sadly, we are ignoring yours in with our hero. That meant probably right side, I would say, but I cannot imagine Pixis wanting to deal with the trolls and their mana bonus either, so. Could be anywhere, really. Assassin ignoring the enemy tank. Oh, it's lovely to see. Yeah, we could send the hero already, but then he would die there, so that's not gonna be worth it either. can get away with this. <coughs> Rexon might struggle a little bit without the help of any defense spells. We should have more gold in 5 seconds this way. It's gonna be fighting in no time though. Oh. 
Please stay away from the base. I'd rather keep them in good shape. Thank you. I'm gonna struggle a little bit there, that's fine. Was well, spiky. Probably dealing with Xerox mid lane then. Probably is dead. So Rex should be able to survive this. I hope. He needs the bear soon though. Does not look good for Rexar. I think he will die. Unless, like you said, the bear will pop up. It ain't happening. Not certain sure whether we will have Rex available for the left side. Let's go the whole for the patients. Get that. Great uh, pass the golden comp. Samara better be killing Rokan, but I'm not counting on it. It's gonna be close though. At least he's still low on mana. Ah, it's gonna be close. Oh my god, can we actually slay Rokan? He's used it to save him. Ah, uh, T1 spell, not T2 spell. Can we poison him at least? Thank you. Oh, that bottom barracks is burning. Hello, that spiky. Nice to see you there. We could send Gorgal here, but then we might have deal with Spike if he's gonna die soon. I don't see Spiky dying here that quickly. No descent pushes through with the Phalounce. And he cannot smite yet, so Kugal could be a good option there. Also, because he will be slaying level 14 hero. Multi different mid lane, so I doubt Spike would actually be pushed over here. Oh, there, there, go down. And we need to level up Kogal in case of a potential um, Xerox to our face. He might struggle a little bit, but he should be able to survive all the way there. <coughs> Let's go level 8 fortifications. Now we might consider going to for any barracks. Let's not forget this guy can always silence and use a nuke to prevent enemies from shielding themselves. And this barracks is in poor shape. So that could be happening. He's 97, so I think Gudan will win this. Um, and I think we will have Smurra favor at the right moment. I think that's all nice. Yeah, let's go tip for the slight extra punch. Now we have to save up just to defend the right side. Spike slowly dying, but he should still be alive. He's probably not going to struggle too much with this wave. Because like I said, we are kind of underwhelming on the battlefield. But we even would be if we were leading on research, but we are still behind. <laughs> but we had to get Kugal out there.
fixes probably capable of keeping up because the melee weaponry is uh, upgraded so cheap. Oh, the Fulgian. We're great, we could at least slay Fulgian. Another Tito spell. So at least we do not have to be too concerned about his mental levels yet. He might not even be taking the hero kill. No, it's not. I don't really think we need to use the defense spell there, especially now we reinforce from middle lane. <coughs> Smurr will struggle a little bit, but he should be able to take down Gudan. Yeah, Kugal did less than I was hoping for, but at least he gained some hero levels. That was the most important thing. If we have to spend special units with a level 1 special unit ourselves, that would not be pretty. X once again is going to be annoying. Still think we are going to be going for Rexa. This was signs now, not when we are defending. So I like that. Gonna probably send bottom then. This to go to force them late anyway. Look at the enemy hero level, so yo 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 on the special units. Hey, that must melbu. The instant hex is gonna be annoying again. Slightly help him out. Otherwise, he might still die. Getting level 9 armor is key. Uh, we, we're okay here. Yeah, we're okay. But every wave attacking us feels really scary. Probably a must smell boo, probably. It's probably good shape. <coughs> Smear Sally for us ignoring Jabitos. Uh, Spiky is willing to push through there. Oh no, here's Spiky. We could send Kogal middle lane to take the kill, but Kogal would stay here for, for like forever. <coughs> now we're prone to enemy specialists ourselves. I'd rather not be in a, put in a situation like that. Maybe Kogal here. We might have to deal with Xerox. It's not gonna be a problem as long as the trolls are not gonna annoy us too much. It's my would be annoying. Spike is gonna fall. Yeah, I'd rather not deal with Spike, but you never know, man. He might be angry at us. <coughs> oh, he's returning. Oh, oh, not yet. <laughs> he should be able to get up to level 16 or so. Not a bit this way, but before he dies. And that's the minimum I expected from him. Well, we should take preparation to deal with Xerox, so Tipoy here would be smart. 
He's super also gonna get a lot of gold for killing um, Spiky middle lane. Even a Palant over there, what the hell? I really hate Felfi. We're still my a little bit over there. Let's go tip four. Level nine armor, perfect. Save here. We only want one hero on the left side. <coughs> but it would be perfect if Rexa could actually eliminate Yurisin. Although Dean with range trolls heroes is gonna be more difficult than the melee one. We're getting free hero kill. I would love that for once. I don't think we can go for the ultimate weapon yet because we probably will have to save up for Dean with Xerox. So yeah, also just getting the extra gold for this hero would be so perfect. Using the Tangle spell. So he's really using a lot of spells this game. Well that's it, yours in. If he goes for Divine Shield, he it might be his saving grace. <coughs> Come on, I would like the experience as well. Come on! Yes, perfect. You know what, let's just get it up. I want to see the shape of the tower. Yeah, definitely have to deal with the mini special unit Rokan. If he sends us Xerox, we want to go go from here and Rex are there probably. Smear so will struggle against Rokan. But then we need 4,750 gold. Research complete. Oh, he's in perfect shape, man. Need a full man as well. Which is gonna be annoying for Ralph, considering he could sign us a nuke. He's also on need a full mana. Here we go, special battle, level 25, dear god. Poor Gogol. This is not even a battle. It's just a slaughter. Still slightly behind. <laughs> Jeez. Bad news here for us that Rakan is a little bit deep. So Muro might be rushing straight into him. So this mini stun will hopefully help out Samuro. Get the hero kill. And keep us fine hopefully so that we can focus on Xerox. We do not have the money for... Um, Gogol and Rexa together yet. We'll get more gold in 5 seconds, well 6 seconds. And I definitely want Rexa tank, but the, oh my god, this wave is even spawning too early. Stay away there. My filthy orcs. Still got plenty of star upgrades to go for. More faded than I want to. 
Well, let's get another flaming attack. See some troops and one and snare. Uh, we should be good for a little while now. <coughs> Pixie deadly fine against Valpire. Redirecting this with ease, which is something you can expect from Pixis. Smur is still struggling over there. Oy oy. Let's get up for Induce Arrow because it actually does help out against. Uh, Good old Kogal, he benefits from the Endure Zara. <coughs> Next series will probably come from here and then Kogal might not be available yet. Spiky should be modified to eat up the Iron Tusk. You have a big wave, but man oh man, they do struggle a lot. Not if everyone thinks sure. That's probably wise to save up a lot of gold. Smur is not gonna have a good time against Fulgian. <coughs> yeah, if it's something like that. Also go down. Oh my god, that's overkill. Fulgian will hex again. Not a tangle. And the fact that we're never getting any gold from middle lane just makes this game so difficult for us. We might actually have to consider using a T2 spell. Even if the enemy waves are not that large at all. We have to... You know what? <clears throat> uh, I hate this. Let's send him with the next wave. He will take critical damage here. But at least we can focus on defending the right side. <clears throat> Just taking defensive meshes. Because we might be even losing reinforcements from the left barracks to deal with this. And yeah, you kind of want to go gall. <coughs> defending your ass. This is probably the smartest move I can make. But if he walks around the world. And die. Then no, oh, yo, yo. And that would be extremely sucky. We cannot have Frog dying here. Come on. Frog died. Oh my god. <coughs> what a waste. Well, definitely is fine over there. Let's go! This tower definitely <coughs> took a huge beating. Take him down, take him down, take him down! Five seconds. Oh boy. Yeah, I think we made the right call here. Otherwise, we might have taken critical damage. And there's already huge damage here. Well, there's no need for the fellows to send us a Xerox. It's 
gonna get a good sandwich, so he might be decide to go for spike here. If we're unlucky. I'd rather not see it happen, <clears throat> but I'm expecting it to happen. Oh, Todd might. We definitely needed the spike here to prevent the Todd might. And once Koga will come in, we will probably see spike and a Tito spell. Does he even have gold for Spike? I mean, that would be incredible if he actually has it. Oh, the bear's going down. <coughs> Poor Ralph. Getting traded by the Tyrant. Go all smash. If he kills this, he might be thrown down Spike to us, which would not be good. We can need spikes to keep attacking the tower from now forward. Come on, just kill the tower. Thank you. Don't mention Juvitals. Disgusting. And one against one, I do not like my odds against the tower. Spike going bottom, that makes sense. <coughs> okay, he's smiting. Okay, so no nukes from him. So the battle between the Velox and the Tower is going to be on. We could apply the pressure to Snoop if we want to. I do want to do that. He does a smite, so we could doom the guy. We only still have top grace to go for. Yeah, we could smite him, but that would open up a snook. <clears throat> Definitely did not expect that, I'll be honest. You know what? <clears throat> Let's be completely insane. Hopefully try to defend this with three heroes. As long as the orcs are not going to be raiding us, messing up the aggro, we might be good. Oh, it's actually useful to click the right hero. <laughs> I don't know why it's not summoning. Oh, but Rexar is going a little bit deep here. Betrayal man, disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. <laughs> and for all, Smurf with bad luck might go mid lane. Get another vision. Not a flame attack. <clears throat> yeah, and you could have sent Spike here before. 
Cirrus against Kogal. At least Kogal this time around will hopefully take him to half life, something like that. Maybe he's gonna doom the guy. <clears throat> oh my god. Kogal. I should not believe so much in you today. Bad redirection there. Sadly, the name Peace be a tribe was already. The camp's going to be a pain. Probably want to go right side again, but can we have Rex to tank it? That's definitely an issue here. Right, I'm gonna cancel out on the upgrades. Good luck with all those reinforcements. Frawl directly. Oh my god. Big's bad strolls. Are you kidding me? So we're taking the pain. Hit a global. <sighs> Thank you for that. Thank you for stating your opinion. Get all the axe reinforcements we can master. We only have one hero to defend us after all against two of the most dangerous heroes in the game. Let's go for some battle frenzy. Please no Xerox again. Uh, we should be fine with Xerox. He probably wants Xerox above him anyway. Inferno drop. Lovely. Oh my god. Yeah, just go middle lane, man. That's fine. Just what we need. With a stun, he might still be hitting the burrow. Oops, her instincts. I'm probably gonna save up. Not even convinced my forces will win this. You know, we have a much bigger army. I'll find getting gold from the lane. Yay. I still hit the burrow, but he did destroy it. And look at that mana. Jesus. Was nearly depleted once. 
There's no point for him to nuke there, so why did he not use a Doom to eat him up in the sun or something like that? Search from middle, that's nice. So you can send the next one from here. That's right, what's about Tepper right? Fix is not playing it kindly. Hey there, Seth Lutz. We are having a great day. I hope to save you, my friend. Oh, look at that poor keep. The question is, what will he do with his mana? He need to get rid of this barracks. That's his biggest priority. We even starting to counter that game with normal ways. Essentially one against one, he might be fine against me. Guess we kinda of want to go a little easy on the top so that he if I was gonna fight off the tower a little bit better. Oh That's a major blow. Are you kidding me? The two is gonna be absolutely necessary here. We have not set for all here. I think the 175 mana is fine. Especially with a uh, mana font over there. But, but that was a big shame. We might need to get Spike up twice again soon. Look at this, we're orcs! <laughs> and we were kind of lowest. For most of the game. That's sad. That's really, really sad. If we go Kogal here, we definitely will have to deal with Spike. That's not what we want. Trying to play nice with the trolls. But he did not play nice to me before with the Spike. Picks a great shape. He m will we see Doom? I would love to see it. Yeah, that was bound to happen, I guess. We can initially get a hero there, so maybe she just throw in Kogal to him. Deal with the fact that we're gonna have to deal with Spikey anyway. Unless he wants to go for Smite. But Smite will not bring him anywhere. I really expected Doom there. I really did. Unless he wants to go for double nuke here and try to work together against the tower with the Pelox. Hey there, did you strange? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Doom could still be an option. I will really mess him up. Doom is fine over there. Nearly maxed out on research. So yay to that. <laughs> Took us 70 minutes. A disaster of a game. And this shield is not gonna live forever. He could man shield. And generally be fine. Arthas will uh, eat Turok's 
Oh shit. Oh, no spike from here and then there again. That would be very annoying. We will use the to spell for sure. <clears throat> Hopefully we can deal some good damage to Spikey. Let's go for Frawl here. I might struggle a little bit. Cannot take damage too well, but I'm counting on him to survive this. Fight on, my warriors. They cannot <laughs> doing a decent job there indeed. Let's max out. We only have the match crews to go for. But no point in going for the jet. Need to survive dust, so he might even want to throw down Xerox from here to there, which is not gonna be easy. So, we might have to deal with an accidental Xerox. <coughs> Are you kidding me, Snoop? Stinky fell fire. Let's hope Rex is gonna be sufficient. I know we're getting desecrated. Lovely reinforcements. Look, Spike eating up Rexa. Oi, oi, oi. That's crazy. You even killed him. <laughs> totally crazy. Wow, the dooms. Doom the guy. Come on, go down. Bad stop might be enough. But we do fear the worst. All oh, those shields, man. Oi, oi, oi. Spike there. Yeah, I think we can still play the beta patient game here. He might actually be smiting a uh, spike. But this cheats is all <clears throat> definitely not living forever. Oh my god. I tried to attack the middle lane, but it would be too risky to send specialists there, or even heroes.
So what will we do here? <coughs> we will have Xerox available. So yeah, I'd rather not take any hit at the base with a potential nuke from the trolls. Not here to play nice either, but Zanzli rather not die. If we get rid of him, we might be in bad shape fighting the tower anyway. Rest of get trolls would also potentially be able to <coughs> stop us through the middle lane. No smite here. So what is your game plan? <clears throat> oh, that's really ballsy. Maybe it's afraid of the double hero. Well, that unexpected with Gogol coming your way. Oh, look, level 4 pillage. Yay! I always want to have that. Useless. <laughs> Silence for us is a bit nasty. Rekha will probably defeat Frawl. Good redirection though. I'm not able to hit his backlines yet. Let's go! That went perfect. Real smooth. Didn't take too much damage. And he's holding this. Oh my god. That's definitely quite impressive. It's really crazy. He could smite, but he isn't smiting. A stun and instant hitting the portal would be annoying for him. Oh! <coughs> Ralph going down. Yeah, the stun from the iron task. Same stuff like Ogal. Can be a major pain to deal with. With him sitting idle on some mana. Might not be the right choice. <laughs> Even if it's just for 300 that's 75 damage. Ooh. <laughs> we just need six nukes to destroy the right barracks. I don't think you can send Spike yet. <clears throat> I think Rexa will die. I'm 
That was going down. What can he throw here? Yeah, Malik Xerox, but this is gonna be enough to defend it. I don't think it is. He's behind the barracks. I think the barracks is already dead. There he goes. Oh, Gromesh. That's unexpected, but he's not gonna get all the reforms we need, so it might be enough. Maybe not if he is ignoring good end now. Jeez. Smurr, you make this more exciting than shoot. <clears throat> James the aggro, the worst time. There's too many heroes there. Cannot push through the mid lane. No matter of time before he is gonna be losing reinforcements. He's still sitting idle on the mana. No mana shield, no nukes, no smites, no ultimate weapons. He might still be keeping it alive for now. Redna sent Kogal. Yeah, this might be our only chance. Yeah, I was afraid that. But we will probably doom the guy. If the enemies do not doom, we will doom. And I do not want to go against the trolls. Yeah, we would end up destroying this, but the explosion would destroy Kogal. Could also smite uh, him. Actually, maybe shoot. <coughs> you smite me, I smite you. Might struggle a little bit with Spiky. Like mighty it can, but it's not gonna be too dangerous here for him. He might still not get, uh, die there yet.
Oh, the dust might eat us. What would be unfortunate for Snoop Dogg? Well, it's not gonna push through all too easily over there. Ah, good end's gonna annoy him. the guy now oh my god big and bad strolls and uh, they might all nah they will not go bottom <coughs> oh my god look how quickly poor frog is dying already Still stinker off away. Still wonder what kind of ultimate weapon he was playing with. Oh my god, Iron Forge War Mill, yeah, these neutral builders were so much better. But then again. <coughs> This is the dream for defensive players. Stop with those pesticides against me. That's not honorable. You filthy cow. He's gonna lose reinforcements to defend against the tower. That's one way against one between us and the Tauren. Yeah, I don't think I like that. <clears throat> Unless he defies all the arts and defenses somehow. Would he go for Smite here? That would be unexpected, right? Oh my god. It seems like he's holding this. How's Frawl over here? He's supposed to be intelligent. What the hell? Sorry, Snoop. It had to be done. Yeah, I was afraid of the tower in the middle lane. Oh, he got hexed. Man, 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 these guys <coughs> never yielded. What does he have to do? Oh, does he want to get second, uh, third place? <laughs> but hey, we might at least be getting a silver medal here with the... Oh my god. <clears throat> with, with the orcs. Come on, cows. Join the fight already. That's gonna be a problem for us though. Smash <laughs> Let's smash him. In the end, I think Tower will destroy this barracks and then they will protect me against Xerox, I hope. I think he will smite the Kogal.
Are we gonna smite Cirrus yet? Two champions for me. <laughs> An yeah, we knew that would happen. Come on, keep him at bay. Just have to buy us ourselves time. Come on! Don't tell me one being will defeat Samuro and for all. That's disgusting. So it's not out there to do me any favors, right? They might actually beat up both heroes. Jeez. <coughs> so we have to use the two spell here, come on. We're not fortunate. Oh my god. Yeah, we are the one with the arm bonus, but I think my arm is gonna be a little bit weaker than this. Okay, good to know. It's probably preferable for us to kill this without a hero. Some arrow. <clears throat> Let's just go crazy. I might regret it. At least it's doing down some damage. I would love him to destroy the all of ancestors. That's not gonna be happening. The Sumero will do some good. Rex is gonna fall. It's inevitable. <coughs> oh! Killing this barracks would be ideal because th that's where his next mammoth can spawn from. <coughs> Let's 
Still strike on the left side. Oh my god. Oh! That's massive. Oh. Don't know how it happened. But I'm fine with it. Look at the left side though, man. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. That's <laughs> not gonna enjoy this. You will not have to memory first though. Still holding out, man. We destroyed the only short lane barracks to the uh, Eddie middle lane, so let's come to second for Pixis. <laughs> Feel free for ravages. <laughs> Boy, Dells. Yeah, fit something like that. <clears throat> Someone not getting redirected. <clears throat> Let's use this then. We can afford to lose the middle lane barracks. Oh my god, we might be losing it here. <laughs> Just die. <laughs> yeah, those cat builds might destroy us. Ouch, we saved that. <clears throat> yeah, it's arm is too strong, man. That's a, such a big problem. Strong burgers. <laughs> Let me throw in front of here. Either way, we've lost this. We've lost this. <laughs> it's got nothing.
Let's get this one up. <clears throat> Right, so laying there for a little while. <coughs> He's gonna send a double uh, mammoth. It is sticks. This has been an incredible game. But he should die for the horde. That's gonna be a problem. Bit risky as well, though. Oh man, Prana gave me post something neat. We're gonna be in pain on the left side. <laughs> He's also gonna be a problem. Will he sacrifice the main? Or is he just going for uh, the double... Mehmet. I think he's gonna go for double Mehmet. <coughs> Although Rexon might still be dealing some damage to both ends since he's gonna lose reinforcements here. Yep, no spawn happen. You see, there's too much damage here. And this disposal, we're dead. We got all the reinforced we can master. Just hope we can hold for 30 seconds. Yeah, we definitely need special middle lane, but yeah, he's gonna smite the ogre. Goal. What? That was weird. Why would he do that? Is he trying to keep me in the game? Gull still dies. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it, it's sad that the, the orcs. Even armed boats cannot fight the tower in late game. And yeah, this is not even strong boats at all. It's very good against mechanicals. <laughs> uh, but fun battle, fun battle. I would say Vault's a winner. We had an extra game. You know what?
Let's shoot it with an with Ryder. There we go. Yeah, I don't think we could have smited anyone early because of the trolls being the big threat with the mana bonus. Full mana. I don't think we could have gotten a win here today. The enemies played extremely well. <clears throat> with a fun uh, battle. <laughs> win streak broken. Yeah, with a fun battle, but I don't think we could have done anything better than we did. So, I'm happy. I'm happy. Self medal. I'll take that.